uh, and again, we're not going to change anything. Okay. So let's do the next section. All right. This is uh, actually very short. This is uh, about 50 seconds, it looks like. That way, if therapy is not helping, how are you going to influence us to do the same thing? Tell them us do what we do best. And, and, and first of all, I, wait, 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 wait. I just realized your theory. You were telling us to do what we do best, well, hopefully we'll stop. That's a little theory. Well, no, no. I read it in a book. I read it in a book. You were telling us to do the same thing. Tell them how you're going to tell them. Nah, you should tell them the truth. No. Juju. Juju. That's what he's doing. Juju. What you doing? All right. You know. Stop calling me Juju. I don't want to think you can think, okay? I know. But, but the things I know. I heard about your theory. I know that you really can't stop. Telling us to do the same thing, but we can stop, right? What? We can I, hopefully I, stop. Yeah. That's a good theory. Well, well, let me shut up. I don't expect you to stop. Because yeah. I, know, I know that you're good at what you do. Yo, don't, and to tell you what you're doing, you're really good at what you do. Okay. <clears throat> so, basically, what the resident is doing at this point is he's kind of... Uh, Telling me, he's basically saying you're doing reverse psychology on us. All right, I read it in a book. Uh, you're telling us to do the same behavior. Um, and you know, when I talk about, you know, when, when people first see a paradoxical intervention, uh, their first reaction very often is, well, oh, this is just reverse psychology. You're telling the client to go left, but really you want him to go right. And the reality is, is that, as I said before, if our focus is on the therapeutic alliance, okay, then my Intent is not necessarily to tell the client to do one thing and my hope is he's going to do another. Right? My focus is just on the alliance. So what that means is that when I talk to the client about going right, and you do that behavior all the time, just do what you do normal, I'm not lying. I'm saying that's what you do. And what the client is looking for is, well, where's the trick? What, what you, you, what, what's blowing him out is that he's waiting for the trick. He's waiting for me to say, oh, you caught me. You know, yeah, you know, I'm trying to do reverse psychology. I was telling you one thing, but I'm hoping you to do another. <clears throat> and he's waiting for me to tell him that, that, that he caught me in my trick. But the point is, is that I'm not tricking him. I'm just telling him the truth. Okay? Um, so the point is that in a good intervention, there's no trick. Okay, that's what's interesting about this whole intervention is that there's, I'm not, you know, trying to convince him or anything. I'm just telling him the truth. Okay, and the truth is, <clears throat> is that your behavior is predictable. This is your normal behavior. You've been doing this three weeks ago. You've been doing this three weeks ago, two weeks ago, and one week ago. And, I, and I'm not, all I'm, the only bit that I'm adding to this is that now I'm with you. Okay? Do the exact same behavior, but the only difference is, is that now I'm joined with you in doing it. Any questions? Okay. Um, so in terms of the reverse psychology, rather than to trick them, I'm simply mirroring uh, their pattern back to them. Uh, and again, the main, my main point here is that I'm an insider. I'm trying to get across to these kids that I'm an insider. But this creates a bind because they don't want me as the insider, okay? And I'm just kind of nonchalant as being an insider. I'm not even, I'm not questioning. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm an insider, yeah, la di da okay? And they're like trying to figure out how do we get rid of this guy from being the insider, all right? And the choice is, the only way they can get rid of me is not to do what they've been doing in the past, okay? Um, but the, but the paradox is, is that when they're not doing the behavior, that means that I'm, close, I'm also the inside because I'm kind of with them going, you know, like they, they have to be very aware of me as they're not doing the old behavior. So it's kind of like a win-win if you get a sense of that. Okay. Um, Aren't you also trying to influence their sort of the whole free will piece? Yeah, for because, sure. Because, I mean, you're flipping it and now if they have free will about doing behavior and at the same time you're shining a spotlight on it and it's no longer I'm doing it because you don't want me to do it and that's my free will. Right. It's now I'm doing this behavior and I have the choice and that's my free will and you're shining a spotlight on it and I don't really like the behavior. Right. <laughs> so now my free will, it starts to change it. So it's not like you're just not just joining with them. You are trying to, it's not a trick, but you're trying to change their behavior? Uh, well, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm actually uh, reframing their behavior. In other words, 
like before, they, they thought that, they, that their behavior was a spontaneous expression. If you ask these guys, you know, hey, you know, you're, you're fooling around and you're butt slapping and you're, you're cursing, uh, you know, and you're, you're, you're sexy dancing, why are you doing that? They would say, well, this, we're just being spontaneous. We're, of our own free will, we're doing this behavior. All right? And now that's what's happening in their mind. And what I'm saying is, I know that you think that that's all spontaneous, but maybe I'm wrong, but I think that that's actually predictable. That's what you always do. And if you always do it, then you've lost your free will around it. Okay? And I don't, I don't say it in those words so much, but that's what I'm getting across to them. Yeah? So you're proposing that their behaviors are kind of in charge of them. Yes. And you're trying to empower them to be in charge of their behavior. Pretty much. I mean, I'm just saying that, that right, right, I'm, I'm saying that you, th you thought you were in control of the behavior. And, I, and you know, and this is like, you know, I, I, when I frame it, I don't, I don't make an accusation. I'm not like, you know, confronting them. I'm saying, you know, my view is a little different. I'm viewing it a little differently. You know, and I kind of let them decide if my view of what's happening is correct or incorrect. So uh, my view is that this is, this is repetitive, this is uh, something predictable, this is your normal behavior. That's my view, okay? What do you think? You know, and I, it kind of goes, you put it back to that client. Hmm? Um, and, you know, I, I use an interesting word because what I'm doing here is I'm hijacking uh, the behavior and I'm making it my behavior, right? So when I'm telling them that, you know, that this is, you know, uh, that this is your normal behavior and, and that I just want you guys to do what you always do, don't change anything, in a subtle way, I'm taking ownership of what they've been doing, okay? And now I'm giving them an instruction around that. Uh, and again, this is the double bind. So, so if they do the old behavior, then the question is, now, so now in the next week, if they do the old behavior, whose behavior is it? Is it my behavior or their behavior? Right? That's, uh, you know, putting that little monkey wrench in there. Yeah? So, I mean, instinctually, they're uh, resistant to anything that you propose, and now that you've hijacked their behavior, they're often to become resistant to that behavior. They're, well... Despite you, I mean, if, if that's their, you know, to try to assert or empower themselves, well, this is my own behavior, it's not here, so I'm just not going to participate in that anymore. Right. Right. Uh, and that's all true, and that all sounds very complicated to me. Okay, yeah, I, but, I mean, it's true, you know, like, and actually in books that are written, it's like, well, you're doing one thing and it's going the other way and it's going up and it's going down, and it comes across as, wow, this is really complicated, right? Cause, uh, but it's not, because all I'm doing is, I'm, my intent is that, hey, I'm on your side, guys, I'm with you, uh, you know, I'm creating the alliance, you know, you know it's, it's, it's us together, and now you do what you want, we're together, okay? And once you create that alliance, everything else falls into place. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the interesting thing because it's like when 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 I engage the client. First of all, it's a very rapid intervention because there's only like three sessions here, and you'll see by the third session, it's a total, it's a shift in the cottage. And what's interesting is it's still very loud, but they just are not doing the problem, you know, the the, the dangerous behavior anymore. Um, what happens in the intervention is they, they suddenly realize that the world is a little bigger than they thought. That, you know, in me creating that, that alliance, um, I've kind of entered their life <coughs> so that they kind of know, and, and you'll see that I actually incorporate other staff in, in part of the next part of the intervention. Um, but the client uh, realizes that it's a little bigger than they thought. So what I'm saying is, is that the behavior seems to hold over time. You know, you would think, oh, they're just going to go back, you know, now that you're not there. Uh, but at least at the end of this intervention, by the way, I did keep in contact with the staff. And for the next four months that I was working at this facility, uh, the cottage did not complain about uh, the safety uh, in that cottage anymore. It yeah. seems like two things are happening. One, that you're sort of raising, trying to get them to have to be self-aware. So, like, suddenly aware, like, I'm acting like a jerk. Um, and... And now you want me to act like a jerk. So that's <laughs> act like a jerk because you're making me act like a jerk. But I'm wondering, if, let's say it was something that, like, it was smoking pot. Like, how much are they? What are they getting out of mm. acting the way they're acting? And part of it is the reaction of other people. And but it's are they really doing it because they really truly enjoy it? Right. Um, like if it was smoking pot, it's like 
you're not doing it necessarily to get the reaction from other people. You're you're doing it because it feels good. So if you try to tell them, well, smoke more pot, right? They make you know say, okay, I'm gonna smoke more pot. Well, again, you know, uh, first of all, I, I don't know that I would say smoke more pot because there's right. the, the the legal thing around it. You know, the the criminal thing. But what, but you also want to keep in mind is whatever that targeted, whatever they're doing, the pot. There's other stuff going on as well. There's other other uh, uh, repetitive behavior, and the you know it, you know maybe there's a family conflict that's going on. You know they don't want to deal with their mother. Their mother's always yelling at them. Um, you know they're reacting in a certain way. They have anger issues. They have uh, social skills issues. In my mind, you know yes we see the pot, and we, we if you focus on that, the kid may continue to do that. What I'm saying is that if you can work on the anger issue, if you work on the social skills, he may not have to use the pot so much. Okay? So maybe keep avoiding your mother. And, and that may be part of the plan, right. You know, like, right, right. Okay? Uh, so, uh, okay, so let's do the next one. Okay. Okay, this one is for a minute. Okay, so then they kind of get a little loud after that, but I didn't, we didn't need to include that. Um, <clears throat> but at this point, what we see is that, is that the, the resident, at least the, the leader, is feeling that there's a problem here, <laughs> okay? That he feels kind of that, that, uh, that he, he doesn't like the way that this uh, session is gone. Uh, and as you notice, my attitude during the whole thing, even when he's trying to confront me, is I'm not defensive. I'm just like, you know, hey, you know, what, if you figured it out, not a problem. This is good. And, and what's nice about this is that when, you, when you're attaching, when you're creating the alliance, um, you know, if you, if, you, if you ask him, what's he doing? He has no idea what I'm doing. Okay? I mean, I'm just kind of like just aligning with him. I'm just like, hey, we're, you know, we're buddy-buddy. And, and by the way, he can't stop me. You know, if I'm being, if I want to be nice to him, if I want to be like, hey, you know, I like you, you're, you know, you know, you can be as obnoxious as you want, you can be as resistant as you want, but I like you, you know, you, I, you know, that's great, I don't mind when you do that, all right? It's like he can't stop me from aligning with him, he can't stop me from creating that alliance, all right? Um, and what I do is I basically convey unconditional positive regard, and then at a certain point I make like a very absurd statement. And the, the absurd thing is, make believe I didn't even come in today, <laughs> right? You know, like, I'm going to walk out, but make believe that I didn't come in, and you just do the same thing, right? That's kind of like, you know, what do you do with that, you know? So it's like, they kinda, they're, they're stuck because I did come in today, and I did tell them to do the same thing, and it's like, I'm, I'm not telling them not to do uh, their old behavior, okay? Um, okay, okay. Uh, Oh, okay, and this is, what, right, okay, so he was calling a sexual bus stop, da, 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 okay. Um, and basically, after, after they're, they're laughing and they're joking, uh, and they've admitted, you know, so they've kind of cornered themselves pretty much, all right? You know, I didn't, act, I didn't accuse anybody. They kind of did all the work on their own. I just asked a few questions, and they've kind of admitted to the butt slapping. They've admitted to the cursing. They've admitted to the sexy dancing. Uh, and suddenly they, they, feel, they feel themselves cornered. Uh, and what's interesting is that the struggle here is, you know, normally they're struggling with the staff member, okay? And I'm not struggling with them, and the struggle I've created is kind of within themselves and within the group, okay? Um, and what was interesting is that the group ended up monitoring each other, 
Okay? So instead of, if you can imagine, so instead of the staff telling them you have to stop your behavior, the, each of the other kids would say, no, no, don't do that sexy dancing. No, stop it. No, you butt slap them. No, don't, don't do that. They're telling each other to stop. Okay? So, so instead of it being the, the group norm to do the old behavior, it becomes the group norm to, to kind of stop that behavior. And they're, and they're all kind of coaching each other, if you can imagine that.